Now, I can understand wanting to make a boss fight hard, but the way to do it isn't by making it, like, completely unrealistic that this guy takes 60, 60 or 70 shots to the upper chest in the head. And they barely... Is he dead in the cutscene? Yeah, he is, at least. <laughs> Sexist! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. The big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang. You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. I might have laughed were not being chased after by the mob. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, ho, ho. I always wanted to see I always wanted to be in a James Bond game. Yeah. I've been framed. Well, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? No. I'm listening. I don't want to hear you out. A Cold Day in Hell, Chapter 2, an offer you can't refuse. Continuello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Tyne, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Ponchinellos. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Ponchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. Yep, so we need to stop him. If you want to get to Ponchinello, you need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Well, let's get this show as he said, Vladimir an offer I can't refuse. Guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. Yep, no one's perfect. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. If you didn't have your tetanus like shot, this, you, you were fucked. But think of the dark army of dead you would die a slow, painful death. And then choose in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. Yes, auto save and now quick save. <laughs> 